All right, people. Today, let's talk about books on Power BI. Uh, not just on Power BI, my favorite books on tax. All right, if you're a book type of person, maybe this video is going to help you pick up the right book in your journey of conquering tax. Now note that uh, I'm not really getting paid by the author or by anybody in any way uh, while promoting these books. These are the books that I have read so far and I've really enjoyed thoroughly and I'm just recommending top five of my tax books. In this particular video, just to make it structured, I'm gonna talk about what I really like about the book, what I dislike about the book, and we'll also try to give it my rating on the book on five. So what does every book get as a rating on five? No further ado, let's start. All right, so I'm gonna talk about my first book, which is the first book which I started reading when I started my journey with DAX. Uh, this was back in, I, will, I believe, 2016 or something. And this book was DAX Formulas for Power Pivot by Rob Colley. I'm not sure if you can see, can see it in the camera, but that was the first ever DAX book that I actually picked up. Now let's just talk about what I actually liked about this particular book. Now this book is incredibly simply written uh, and any layman would be able to understand it, even though the person has nothing to do with Excel or with Power Pivot or with Power BI. Uh, it's a very simple language that Rob has used to explain complex DAX formulas throughout the book. The one thing that actually has stayed uh, with me till this date from this particular book is the three-stage DAX evaluation process, which is nothing but what's happening, happening under the hood of the DAX engine that he ex actually explains in this particular book. So the, so the three-stage evaluation process was really something um, enlightening uh, in this particular book. The other thing that I really liked about this particular book is that it just did not speak about DAX per se. It also kind of gives you some bit of marketing content as to why Power Pivot is the next big thing, which you can actually use to kind of communicate it to your clients in case you're a consultant or in case you're seeking out for a job, you can actually make a case that why this is the next radical thing to happen in the business intelligence industry. So that, that piece of writing, uh, explaining that why this thing is so good is absolutely um, that I did not really find any other author doing. So uh, the one thing that I actually uh, did not like about this particular book is that this book doesn't really have a lot of examples for uh, you to practice. So it has a lot of uh, things that, you know, it kind of talks about it, but there are no exercises in the end that you can actually take from and you can practice and then, you know, recheck your answers. That was something that I, you know, did not like about this book. It should have had that, but uh, I think I enjoyed this book and I'm going to give um, this book a rating of uh, let's say four and five all right let's just actually start with the next book all right my next book was this particular book learn to write dax by matt allington now when i was reading rob's book i was able to understand everything um, and as soon as i tried to take those concepts and apply it to my own data i almost always got stuck and i was not able to crack the formula as to how this thing is going to work and I thought maybe I just need some more practice. So I picked up this particular book and I'm very, very glad that I actually picked up Matt's book. Now, the, the few things that I really, really like about this particular book is that uh, Matt actually comes to the point very, very quickly and his style of explaining the concepts is absolutely amazing. He also, just like Rob, talks about the concepts in plain English, very, very simple to understand language that a layman can understand. And the other thing that is quickly going to become evident to you if you actually pick up this particular book is that right from the start right from the very first example he's going to give you exercises to do right after every concept that he tries to explain to you which is absolutely a phenomenal thing and those little wins that you get by solving those exercises are a big confidence booster that yes you are able to understand what's going on under the hood and how DAX is actually working all right I did not also like a few things about this particular book the one thing that I became a little picky about is that the design of the cover was not very attractive to me so yeah i mean i'm just very being, being very picky about it but i did not actually like the design of the of the cover it could have been better but the other thing uh, that i found missing in the book is that the book is you know up to a basic to an intermediate level it doesn't really solve a lot of you know other complicated areas of tax and because the book is so good you never really want the book to end it f 
feels like somebody is explaining to you the interstellar movie through a book and you're able to understand what's going on and you do not really want that to that saga to end so i really wish that the book had delved a bit more deeper into going ahead and explaining more complicated concepts and giving more complicated exercises but definitely this was a very 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 confidence boosting read towards the start of my journey in dax and therefore i'm going to give this book a rating of 4.5 stars on 5 all right let's move to the next one all right the next book that i actually picked up was this particular book this is the second version of the definitive guide to dax by marco russo and alberto ferrari so once i've actually picked up this book the first realization was this is heavy for sure and as soon as i started to kind of read through the book i was like all right i'm sure you get the idea now this is one particular book that i wouldn't really recommend uh, to a beginner in dax now i would want to reach to a certain level of understanding dax so that i can consume this book well and to be able to do justice to the contents of this particular book what i really really like about this particular book is that this book is very 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 thorough and it has a lot of simple to very very advanced topics like querying modeling the vertipack engine uh, optimizing your dax and a lot of other topics that you would want to learn if you want to become really 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 good with dax the one thing that i don't like about this particular book that this book can become pretty sophisticated right from the first few chapters itself and that can be daunting for beginners to consume dax who are laying their probably their first foot in power bi and trying to learn dax the other thing that i did not find interesting in this particular book is that the book is too focused to teach you formulas of the dax formula language uh, although that is good but the formulas don't really translate to solving various business problems that you could have in the real world and that's something that i found that was missing in the book but in case you're trying to get on top of the dax formula language and how it works you cannot choose to leave this book out of your library right so for that for all those reasons that i have just said i would give this particular book a 3.5 stars on 5 let's just move on to the next one okay the next book that i picked up was beginning dax with power bi from phil cmark there's just one word that comes to my mind about phil cmark's work it's absolutely unique and it's gold now if there were an access to measure the quality of the books that people are write on the dax formula language you could scale them from basic level books to advanced level books but phil actually brings up another scale to measure the quality of the books which is the uniqueness of the book so and i would probably rate phil a towards the far right of uniqueness his books his work is absolutely unique and so is this particular book which is beginning dax with power bi this is not a beginner level book again it's I would say that you would need to have some reasonable amount of understanding of tax to be able to understand what he's trying to say but this book is pretty unique and pretty good. Now let's just talk about what I like in this particular book. The one thing that actually stood out uh, in this particular book that Phil was trying to do consistently throughout the book is that the kind of examples that he gives you uh, while trying to explain various concepts are very very unique like I just said. The other thing that I really found very very interesting are the chapters on summarizing and aggregating. Uh, joins is a pretty interesting chapter in this book. Uh, debugging and optimization is a fantastic chapter, and practical tax takes it to whole another level. So these are the few chapters that I really really like in this particular book. All right, time for what I dislike in this particular book. Now I just wonder that why do a lot of people don't know about this book? which is another way of saying that i don't hate this book at all everything that i have read in this particular book is absolutely incredible and the language is simple um it's reasonably advanced that's what i would i was hoping to get when i was at that particular level and this is a phenomenal book so for that all that biases that i have towards this book i'm going to give this book a full 5 on 5 all right the last one The most recent addition to my DAX, not the most recent, but the most recent cherished addition to my uh, DAX uh, library, is this particular book by Phil C. Mark again, Pro DAX with Power BI from Phil C. Mark and Tom Martins. 
Because I was so impressed with Phil C. Mark's previous work, I decided to buy this particular book. And again, this is not uh, a book for beginners on Power BI or, or in DAX language. You need to have certain experience of understanding DAX to be able to consume the materials of this particular book. But this is an absolute, another phenomenal book by both Phil C. Mark and Tom Martins. You see that the thing with learning DAX is that once you start to understand that how DAX is working and how the mechanics of DAX is working under the hood, all that you would want to consume more and more of is the application of the DAX formula language in creative ways that people are putting DAX to work and create and you know building creative solutions. And this book exactly does that. If I have to call out a few very interesting chapters that I really loved and cherished in this particular book, those would be the chapters on DAX lineage, amazing chapter. Um, and the other chapter that I would call out is this particular chapter, which is where uh, both Phil and Tom actually talk about DAX to solve advanced everyday problems. Um, and there are a few other chapters as well. Finding out what's not there, where, DAC, where uh, uh, Phil and Tom actually talk about moon wanning and moon waxing and finding out what's missing in your data and those kind of things and talking about consistency of you know, customers buying and not buying. Those kind of applications of DAGs are pretty sophisticated and pretty interesting. Uh, role level security is another very interesting chapter. And the chapter that I really liked in this particular book was on query plans. I was not aware about it. And I actually started to read and understand query plans through this particular book. So those were the things that I really liked about this particular book. For all the work that these guys have done, I would like to rate this particular book a good four on five uh, uh, in the rating level. All right. Those were my top five books that uh, I really enjoyed reading amongst all the other books that I have read on Power BI and DAX. Two parting thoughts before we close on this particular video. Since we're talking about DAX books, in case I have missed out on calling out any particular book that you have enjoyed thoroughly reading, uh, whether it's basic or it's very, very sophisticated or advanced, please do mention that in the comment and I'd love to put my hands on the book and try to read that. And the other thing is that in case you're a book person and you love reading books and those are the preferred methods of acquiring knowledge for you. Um, please go ahead, pick up any of these books. I have not been paid or I'm not doing any paid promotions for any of these authors. And these are the books that I have read myself and I've enjoyed it thoroughly and hence are my recommendations, uh, honest recommendations about these particular books. In case you're not the book type of a person and you learn better by courses, I have courses on Power BI. In case you're a beginner and you're starting out with Power BI and you have struggled to understand Power Query and DAX, build up your fundamentals and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. Those are going to be highly beneficial too. Thanks so much for sticking around towards the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.